Hey everybody, my name is Gadema, welcome back for another video of NHL 20 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series, boys, as always. Uh, I'm about to show you for our sixth year, I believe this is going to be our sixth year, our fifth year. I think this is our sixth year, so uh, I'm about to show you the lineups that we're going to have during the season. This is what it's going to look like for this year, at least at the beginning. Uh, eventually, I might uh, change it if it doesn't work out, but... For now, we're going to have Pritchett, Ichier, uh, Ichier and uh, Salonen boys. Uh, all three of these prospects playing together. Salonen is now at 80, 89 overall, so he grew up by three overalls, which is uh, really good for us. So hopefully they're going to really... And plus, it's a plus three overall, right? For all of them, because they uh, apparently they have a really high chemistry together. So that means he, uh, Pritchett's going to play like a 97 show like a 95 and Salon in like a 92 so that's should really produce like crazy uh for the second line we've got Cahoon we've got M uh, Matthews and Pasternak so another really great lineup all right and for the third line now the third line they don't like each other but I mean they should be doing fine together uh I figured why not try them out right and Tatar, Grimbal, and Kasse are going to be fine on the fourth line. Defensive wise, uh, wise we do have Noah Niffin, which is our new player added to the uh, lineup. So hopefully he's going to be he's going to be able to help us out a little bit more with our, our defense that was struggling over the past few years. So Anifin with Muzzin, Brody with Clefbaum, and Brodeen with uh, Campney. Our backups are going to be Mueller and Limblom. All right, and uh, goalies, Riddich grew up by three overall, so that means the 87 overall now. Had a, a fantastic year last year, and Grabauer stays at an 84, boys. He had um, a disappointing year, that's for sure. Hopefully, he's going to have a better year uh, this time around. So, let's start this shit up. Let's start the simulation. Not waste any, uh, any time. You already know how it works. The 10 first games, uh, every 10 games we stop it and look at the stats. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Ur uh, Hurricanes uh, games, I guess. The Carolina Hurricanes. Let's see how many games are we going to win. We have a better defense and some better offensive players as well. You can see already the 14 goals. Oh my god. We're scoring a lot of goals per game. That's crazy, and we're not actually not giving up a lot of win, uh, a lot of, a lot of goals ourselves. Uh, Dominic Mazin is injured. So we're gonna have to replace him. Yeah, aside from the that uh, Red Wings game right there, we haven't uh, so far given up uh, a lot of goals. Only like maximum two goals per game, which is crazy. Uh, Mazin is back again. So best lines for that guy, I guess. Uh, decline trade there we go so yeah i think we're doing really good actually we we got a shootout last there another uh loss though against the pittsburgh penguins which is not good but a win a shout out a shootout uh win or a shout out win that's good another shout out for us two in a row boys all right we're doing fantastic right now i feel like our team is it's better than last year so and last year we were the better the best team of the league so imagine this year we're even better i mean at this at some point right there's not much uh the other teams can do to stop us on eight one and one after the last 10 games boys the first 10 games which is fantastic now the problem is the playoffs so eventually once we are in the playoffs i don't know how we're gonna do Actually, these guys are playing really well together for a team that ha doesn't have the chemistry. Oh my god, everybody's playing well together, yeah. Alright then. Yeah, they're all playing well. So all the lineups are playing well. You already know how this, how this works. Yeah, alright. Well, look at this shit, boys. These guys are awesome. They're all playing really good. And the two goaltenders are having a fantastic season so far, so... Can't ask for anything much further, boys. The team is just stacked. Uh, it's just... Um, I don't think we need to change anything. So let's just go into the next 10 games. 2, 4, 6, right there. 8, and 10. So all the way up to that game against the... Pe uh, the uh, fr Not Florida, but I think it's the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's the same place, really. It's around the same area. 
Marco Dano, as the head coach replaced player. There we go. Yeah, these guys, like, there we go. There's another win. I mean, uh, I don't feel, oh, Grabauer got injured. That's not good, though. Oh, all right. But it's our backup. At least, I mean, it's our backup that got injured. So we're going to have to get Shen. Now, that's the one thing that uh, is dangerous, though. Uh, if we lose our other goaltender, which is Riddich, now we start to fall down because uh, we uh, our backup goaltender for the minors uh, is a Shan. So that's the only other goaltender we got. So hopefully Riddich can uh, do the job while we uh, we do our thing here in the NHL, right? While uh, Grubauer gets back until he gets back, because this is gonna be uh, tough he can if he can't. Uh, let's go. Get a couple of wins here. Oh my God, a loss! Don't met, don't play uh, Shen in the net now. We're getting losses here. There we go. There's a win against uh, in shootout too against the the St. Joseph Sharks. Can we get another win? A loss against the St. Joseph Sharks. All right, we're struggling a lot more in this uh, this one. We're still doing pretty. Uh, f we're still doing fine, but we're definitely struggling a little bit more. So let's just hope that um, Rabar gets back. So our like line chemistry or team chemistry is gets back up there we go we're starting to win games all of a sudden there we go see what i'm talking about all right well we got we're getting a lot of bit more losses definitely losing a little bit more but we're still pretty good so yeah i mean i don't know let let me just check our last record for the last 10 games five four and one all right it was the same type as last year around the same type right and we're starting to trail down that second that second simulation was not uh was not that good boys not that good compared to the first one but i mean we did lose uh grabauer which i think he's ready to play he's ready to play and shen yeah we did play shen for three games uh he won two out of uh two out of three so he won the games because he's got the team in front of him and he's like 80 yeah 89 that uh, percent of safe percentage that's not good at all i'm going to put back grabauer in there already because we really need him back uh let me just check really quick anybody we need to change uh, pritchett doesn't take any penalties as you can see right here he does have how many points does he have right now 23 points he's having a fantastic season with these two uh he doesn't take penalties so that's good uh, Salonen does take a couple of penalties though. Felt like he's a little bit too aggressive, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, these three players are playing fine together as well. Uh, fine for the third line. And the first, fourth line, oh, okay, the fourth line is the one giving up a little bit more goals this time around. Uh, these guys are doing okay. Uh, fine, yep. Oh, these guys are doing awesome together. We gotta keep them together. All right. All right then. We're gonna get uh, Shen back into the minors. They are gonna need their main goaltender in there. They, they already don't have any goaltenders, so they're gonna need him. Yeah, I got rid of Corpusalo, which was 81 overall. Got rid of him because I figured uh, he could probably play in the NHL, right? 81 uh, overall. We're kind of wasting a player like that. I mean, I don't. It's not bothering me to play play players like Yurko or Pacioretty. They're 80 overall. But if there's a player that's actually 81 overall, now he's really like, you gotta play at least in the in the NHL. I don't care what position, but he's gotta play there. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to the Vegas Golden Knights game, boys. Let's go. Let's uh, hope that uh, everything's going to be fine. Oh, Grabauer is back. Yeah, uh, for sure. So he's fully healed. That's our second loss in a row now. We're starting it off a pretty bad. But there it is. There it is, boys. There's a win against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Another loss and a shout-out shout out to against the Montreal Canadiens, which is uh, not good. This, the Canadiens at this point must have like a stud team or whatever. They really have a stud team probably. All right, let's go. Getting a bunch of uh, trade offers, but I'm not going to accept any. I don't want any of them. Let's go, man. Can we get more wins? We need those wins right now. Absolutely. Uh, decline trade. We keep getting offers. A shootout loss against uh, the Islanders. So 
Yeah, we're getting losses at the uh, at the Wazoo right now. Another shootout loss. All right. Well, now we're just losing points. Hopefully, we can uh, get back in there. That's another loss, but a win. Finally, a win. I want to see those W's, man. Let's see the W's on my screen with the team I have in front of me. There it is. That's what I want to see. There's no reason as to why we were uh, we are struggling right now. Right, let me see again. Five, three, and two. All right, that's that's fine. All right. So Isha is still having a good season. Thirty-four points in thirty games played, having a fantastic season. Uh, Devils, we are right there, right behind the Flyers. Uh, we're not doing horrible. We're not doing awesome either. We're doing just fine. We're doing good. So let me see. Uh, f I don't think I need to change anything. I think we're just fine. I don't need to look at anything. Our team is uh, playing fine. So, yeah. Let's just continue the simulation. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. I'm going to go fast with this one. I know this is the last season of simulation. I said I would do uh, anyways. So, uh, we might as well like go fast and whatever. Isha got a minor injury, but nothing to be concerned about. Let's just focus on the main uh, simulation, see how it goes. My main goal this year, I know we're going to make the playoffs. I mean, if we don't make the playoffs, that's something's wrong. But we're definitely going to make the playoffs I mean, with the team we have and everything. In the beginning, we had anyways. Uh, we pretty much secured our... At this point, we're all pretty much secure for the playoffs. I'm pr I, I, I feel like so. Anyways, my main concern is I want to get once we get to the playoffs is that I want to make it far, right? Uh, we didn't make it uh, our furthest we went uh, so far is the second round. I want to make it to the finals, all the way to the finals. I actually want to win the cup for once, right? In this game, it feels like it's just impossible to win the cup. It's just impossible. The playoffs are totally a different game. So after the other 10 games, the simulation, as you can see, six and four, so even better, more wins. Uh, well, I wouldn't say better. I guess it's kind of the same. Ex uh, well, no, you know what? It's better because we got a, a one more win than we had, but we didn't get any points in the, uh, when we lost. So, all right. The Flyers are starting to take over too. They're winning a lot of games. The Oilers are uh, dominating the league right now. Ishers. Not producing as much as he used to. He's uh, on par now. He's not above the 500. Uh, Pritchett does have 20 goals. All right. Yeah, I feel like uh, Isher is having a little bit of a tough time. I don't know, boys. Uh, Salonen is definitely having a good, a fantastic season. He does. He's not having a, a 60 uh, goal season like last year, but he's still doing pretty decent. Uh, Cahoon is doing fine. Matthews too. Pasternak. All right. I want to find the players that are struggling right now. So Kasse and Tatar are struggling uh, where they are playing right now. Definitely struggling. But uh, there's always going to be players, uh, these uh, that one line that's going to struggle. As long as it's only one line, right? Uh, Anafin is doing really good this year. Uh, with Mazen and everything. And yeah, our defense uh, par is really good. What about uh, my goalies? All right, this year it's kind of the uh, other way around now. So Riddich, in terms of wins, is doing fine, obviously, because he's got the team in front of him. But Riddich this year is doing horrible. He was he started doing really good, but all of a sudden now he's doing horrible. Grabar is doing good though. He's actually doing pretty good. So all the way up to the uh, Ottawa Senators game right there. We're going to come up uh, a little bit closer here to the trade deadline. I think another 10 games afterwards and we should be there. Nico Ischier got injured. We're going to have to replace him. So our main center got injured. That's a huge injury right now. Which means we're going to have to replace him with Limblom. That is not too good but... Matthews is going to have to get in there, I guess. Uh, Barbashev is going to have to get in there as well. And uh, is he better than uh, this guy? We're kind of the same. And since they're not doing so well together, let's try that out. All right, let's try Grand Ball on the third line. So everybody's uh, moving up in the 
center position. And Nimblong's getting in the third. He's getting this uh, fourth line uh, treatment right now with Kasse and, Tat and Tatar. Hopefully, that's fine uh, for now. Hopefully, that's going to help us. Right, we don't. Uh, we're not gonna struggle. So far, so good. We got two wins ever since Ishar got uh, injured. Three wins in a row. Uh, can we get a winning, a big time winning streak here? There it is. Four wins. We're not scoring as much though. Two goals in, uh, during the games, but we're not giving goals at least. So that's that. Uh, Campe is going to Coralado, uh, Coralado. and uh, looks like we lost eight to four though. That's a big loss right there. Holy, we gave up a lot of goals. Uh, Ottawa. We did win in shootout, so he sure is. It seems like he's been gone for a long time now. I don't know for how long he's going to be gone, though. Uh, Lindell going to Toronto, all right. Yeah, I don't know how if, for how long he's going to go, but the Lions are really doing great. And uh, speaking of which, I guess he's back. So the Lions were doing just fine as it is, right? Matthews is a good substitute anyways it's the same thing as Isha it says Isha is a little bit better in my opinion than Matthews so uh, I guess that's good and you know what uh, Gremble wasn't doing too good with uh, Tatar and Cassie but Limblom is doing pretty good so I think I'm just gonna there we go I'm just gonna do that there we go and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna uh, change it up and maybe Limblom playing ble better with Cass and Tatar, maybe that's gonna change some things up, all right? I mean, yes, sure, Grand Bull is a center, but I he didn't really deserve so far. It doesn't feel like he's playing that good with these two players. Maybe if we can keep uh, the way it, it was, right? All right, anything and everything, all right, I feel we're like we're good right now, so let's keep it going. Mazen got injured, so we lo uh, our center is back, but now Muzzin is injured, so that's our second best uh, defenseman injured right there. Mueller is going to get back in here. I don't think I want him in there. Uh, definitely not. I feel like Clefbaum would be the best option, so we're going to put Clefbaum in here. And this, uh, we're going to put Kentney in there. All right, let's go. Hopefully, we're going to be fine here. A shootout loss. We still uh, we did get a, uh, a win against the Predators though. So, all right, a really good record for that ten games. A uh, seven one and two, really good. And we gotta take into consideration that uh, we did lose our first center during that simulation and everything, which hurt a little bit our players here. Uh, Pritchett, um, both Pritchett and Solonen probably got uh, hurt uh, statistic statistically wise. But they still played with Matthew, so it's not really an excuse, right? An excuse, right? But oh well, we did win up big time because of that, though. Are we the best team? No, we're only the second best team of the league. Uh, it's going to be hard to catch up to the Oilers. I don't know. Um, the Oilers might win it this uh, this year, boys. Uh, we kind of messed around during the middle right here, so I don't know how this is going to go. Let me just see the lineups again. Just to make sure everybody's playing well together. So the first line is really doing good together. The third, second line as well. Third line, beautiful. The fourth line, yeah, the fourth line is doing good. I'm going to keep Lindblom in there. It seems like the these four, three players are doing fine. That's good. And uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, they're, they seem to be doing uh, just decent. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to keep it like that. All right, and Grimble, it's too, it's just too bad for you. You had, you were having a good season, but uh, it's just too bad for you, I guess. Uh, Riddich, he's doing, still, he's moving up. He's having a little bit more of a better, like simulation right now, but uh, he's still struggling. I mean, he's, he's got to play a little bit better than this. And uh, Grabar is uh, trending up as well, so Grabar is just playing uh, good. He's having a good season. It's good for us, boys. That's good for us. So let's simulate the last next 10 games. After that, we're going to look at the trade deadline, right? Because we're going to be there. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So over there against Buffalo. Let's see. After the la next 10 games, we're going to be at 60 games uh, played. Let's see if uh, there's any team that might want to trade their goaltender. An actual goaltender that could help us out. Uh, 
you never know right it's not like i want to get rid uh, it's not like i want to rid myself of uh riddich because he's been really good for us last year and he uh, that the proof is there when he comes down to the overall because he did grind up by three overalls for this year but for some reason this year he's not doing the job and we need an actual goaltender that might do the extra work for us right that might have the advantage uh for us so i don't know we might be tempted to take a look but so far we haven't lost in that simulation the hurricanes uh decided to get rid of their coach yeah we haven't lost so far i don't want to jinx myself we're probably going to lose there against toronto i'm not sure decline the trade let's see what's going to happen here uh first rounder okay the big trade oh there it is there's the loss you see start to say saying that we haven't lost and we lose the game but we did win again the other game though so that's good and we won the other game so only one loss we only lost uh once in that last 10 games boys so that's is that's just crazy in itself that just means we're a really good team nine and one boys we're at 40 game 40 wins right now 40 14 and 6 what a record man that's an incredible record for us another uh, fantastic year uh, for us 86 points we're way above the Oilers, so we might be able to do it after all if we can keep up uh, keep it up like that and uh Ishar went way up in terms of points 61 points right now holy yeah our plays are doing just fine they're doing fantastic we got a, a really good team so i mean there's not much else to ask really if we can't make it to the finals at least with that team i don't know what to say uh pritchett 60 points in 60 games played he does have 30 goals boys 30 goals for pritchett his highest was last year with 46 goals uh let's see if he can go further than that uh not sure if he will uh, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to get into 40 goals. He should be able to get into 40 goals. But 46, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Uh, Ishia is having another great year for him. Like, good God. This guy is so good, boys. He's such a good player, Ishia, for us. And Salonen not having as good of a year as he uh, had for last one, uh, right? That's Most of his points were... Uh, him doing it with Montreal, I guess. Uh, Pasternak with Matthews. These guys are just fantastic together. Matthews is another 30 goal scorer too on our team. All right, and he's doing just fine. He's playing the second line too. Uh, if he was playing the first line, he would probably be doing fantastic. Uh, Pasternak really doing great as well with uh, Cahoon. Cahoon is just having a great uh, season. Obviously, he's playing with two... Uh, awesome players but he is an 88 overall player after all too right uh the brusk uh barbashev and sprung they're doing really good tatar limblom and cassie all right so i think it's time for me to put back grambo in here i feel like he deserves to get back in here i feel like limblom did a good job right he did a good job uh, repl in the replacement but they're starting to be minuses again uh, one of these two players is the problem uh, either it's either Tatar or Kasse boys that is the problem uh, Tatar is plus three and Kasse is really good offensively I feel like it's Tatar the problem I might be tempted to just trade Tatar for an actual fourth liner or somebody that can you know that does play well this year uh, at least right that might be able to help us out i don't know uh we've got uh defensively pretty good right pretty good players i mean Kepney is just our best d-man in my opinion right he's a defensive defenseman yes but plus 30 in the plus minuses this guy is just awesome he doesn't like nobody scores when he's on the ice basically he he doesn't get, uh, get scored on. So whoever he plays with is just going to be able to help that player out. Which is fantastic for me. That's just awesome. We, it's awesome to have a player like that. Riddich, kind of the same, boys. Kind of the same. Not having a, a good year. 
not having a good year. We might not even need to make a trade. I'm not really sure if I want to make a trade. Tata, right? We can always change it uh, for Limblom, actually. Let's try out Limblom with Gremble and Classy. Maybe that's going to help out. Yeah, because Limblom is actually pretty good. And Tata is just not having a, the, a, that good of a year. All right, so maybe... I don't feel like we need to do any trades per se. Uh, we are going to do our due diligence and uh, look at the other teams, what they might be tempted to give us, all right, what they want to give. So a matching block, Anaheim's, they don't have anything. Boston, uh, Arizona, they do have some players. They've got Nick Schmaltz, but I'm not interested in any centers, all right, centers are fine. Uh, it's either a left wing, a left wing or... I guess a, a goaltender that I'm looking for. So left wing, we do have Killor, uh, Killorn right here. Uh, yeah, I guess he would be suited. He's plus three this year, so he's doing just fine. And But he's plus four. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to change it. I'm not going to look for anybody. I may, I'm just going to look for a goalie. All right, so nobody here. Uh, Comrie. I don't know. Comrie is worse than... Uh, I want an actual good player. So an actual uh, uh, goalie, right? That's a, that's what I want right now. It's a, a goalie that uh, actually plays good, that they're willing to give. Probably just want to give up uh, their backup goaltender, though. That's probably what's going on here. Yeah, everybody's going to give up some uh, backup goaltenders. They're not horrible, but I don't need a backup right now. I need a starting goaltender replacement. An actual starter. No, f nothing so far. Yeah, nothing interesting, boys. Doesn't seem like anybody. Yeah, I don't feel like anybody wants to get rid of them. No, all right, we don't have anybody. Well, that's fine by me. I don't need to do any trades then. Let's just continue simulation until the la the the end of the season, right? We're gonna one uh, go uh, one game at a time, I guess. But let's see right here too. All the way up to the Montreal Canadiens game. That's going to put us at 70 games played. We're going to get past the trade deadline. No, no uh, worries. There's no need for us to make a trade. All right. Absolutely no need for us to make a trade. Uh, otherwise, getting a first rounder. Uh, Gustafsson is going to Nashville. That might have been a good goaltender for us, but uh, it's m much more of a backup than anything. I, I really needed a a starting goaltender and there was no options for us so it's been past the trade deadline right here see what we can do for the rest of the season are we going to be able to have uh, continuously a good uh, simulation and get uh, once uh, for the second time in a row like the president's trophy i feel like i feel like we were going to be we are going to be able to do it because look at this yes we lost eight to five right there but aside from that nine to two so nine goals for us Seven goals and eight goals for us. How many goals is that per uh, in three games, boys? That, that's a lot right there. Seven, two, and one. Uh, we only have 12 games remaining to play. Matthews is actually our best player. He's playing on the second line. He's uh, really our best player right now. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're going to be the best team, boys. I'm pretty sure at this point, 39 goals for uh, Matthews. Let me just take a look really quick at our teams, um, our players, right? Just quickly take a look at our stats. So do we have an actual... So Matthews is our best scorer and our best player. He's playing on the second line. That, that's, cr that's crazy. That's awesome. That, that is awesome that we can have a player like that doing that, uh, that good. We're not going to have a 50-goal score this year, I feel like. But we are going to have some 40s. So Matthews... Uh, we've got Ishar, uh, that did get injured for a while there, so he would probably have more points than Matthews. It's just that uh, he got injured for a while, he didn't miss like six games or whatever, so he, he missed a lot. So here it is, a fantastic, another good year for him. Pritchett, really good year for him, that's uh, that's good in my opinion. Uh, Pasternak could be doing better, but uh, I mean he's playing in the second line, so I guess it's fine. Salonen. Uh, definitely could be doing better playing on the first line, right? He's an 89 overall. I would expect more out of him, 
but it's not horrible. Cahoon, all of them. Uh, let's see if there's any minuses here. Aside from Tatar, uh, obviously. No, there isn't. There's no minuses. And uh, Goaltender. Uh, Riddich starting to come by. All right. Gr Grabar is doing a little bit worse for wear right now. But Riddich is doing better. So, hey. Can't ask for uh, better than that. We can't ask better than this. Uh, we got the maximum we can have right now. So, assimilate the rest of the season, boys. The rest of the season to, uh, I guess... There we go, right here, all the way to the end. God damn, Rutas got, got injured, so head coach replaced Pereira, that's in the minors. Uh, Cahoon is fully healed, that was probably a minor injury. There we go. And uh, there's, so a win against Montreal, a loss against the Islanders for another win, another win after that, so two wins, three wins, four wins in a row. Yeah, uh, can we get another one? No, seventh one last. Holy shit. Yeah, another win. Another win. Yeah. I, yeah, we're definitely going to get uh, the President's Trophy again, boys. We're definitely going to have... Uh, be the best team. Yeah. We did start enough. Like, we ended up in a five-game winning streak right there. And we're going to start off the playoff, it looks like. The first round against the Boston Bruins. I believe it's the same thing as last year. Or is that the team with the... That defeated us last year. I think that's the team that defeated us last year. I'm not sure, boys. But now I want to make it. All right. Now it's the time for the real deal. It was kind of easy on my part. I, I knew already that we were going to be probably the best team, right? Yeah, we got uh, the President's Trophy. We're the, we have the Z. Yeah. All right, boys. Best best team for the second year in a row. We have the president's trophy. All right, so I definitely have a, a stud team. the The question is, can I have a team that's good enough to play in the playoffs, uh, to stand their to have their chemistry the highest at the highest and actually go all the way up and win the cup? Because I want, I just want to debunk that uh, that thing. That says that it's just impossible, right, to win a cup uh, with the simulation and everything. It it's got to be possible. There's got to be a way for the human to be able to play all all the way until they play uh, uh, the the finals and win the actual cup. There's got to be a way, boys. Uh, anyways, our team did pretty good this year, as you can see right here. Our best player was Matthews with 43 goals, best scorer and player. Uh, 43 goals and 86 points uh, within 82 games. Uh, uh, obviously, Pritchett got 85 points. Let me just see really quick. It's not the best season. Uh, the two previous years, he had a better season than that, 88 points. But he's consistent. All right, he does produce more than he uh, above 500. So that's uh, really good. All right, he produces more, boys. So. That is perfect for me. That's just growth. Just waiting for him to happen, right? He's a franchise player after all. So he, he is bound to be just a stud. Uh, we do have Ishia with uh, had a fantastic year once again. Another great year for him. Uh, Pasternak had a pretty decent year. 79 points, all right? If he played on the first line, I'm sure he would have had more points than games. But that's only because he played on the second line. Maybe it hurt him a little bit. Even though it didn't hurt Matthews at all. It did for uh, Pastor Axel. So I don't know, boys. Some, sometimes it's just like that. It'll just be like that. Uh, Cahoon, really good season. Solonen, uh could have been better. Not the end of the world. Anifin, all right. So, yeah, we got all these players that uh, did pretty good for themselves. Goalie-wise... We do have 45 wins for Riddich, boys. Oh, my goodness. What a season for him. This goalie is going to have a, a really good time for us. Yeah, 37 wins that last year. 45 wins this year. The, our new uh, Bradar, boys. It's the new Bradar for the, uh, for the New Jersey Devils. That's crazy. All right, let's go into the main... NHL right and look at everybody before we look at the goalies uh, We're gonna look at everyone. So the best score of the year was uh, Emiliano Emiliano Pavelski I should say 57 goals uh, French low franchise player 
89 overall. That's crazy. They have another franchise player in there. All right. Interesting player right there. Came, kind of came out of nowhere. Definitely a scorer, though. He doesn't pass the puck at all. Uh, Kucherov, 52 goals. So the only two 50 uh, scorers, uh, goal scorers this year. For the points, uh, let me just see right here. Right here. There we go. McDavid, the best player with uh, 99 points. So no 100 no one got the 100 uh, this year. Interesting. Kucherov, uh, Jack Hughes, uh, Sagan, uh, Tolvanen, Drysaddle, uh, Heiko, Mackinen, and uh, Matthews all the way there. All right then, boys. Interesting. And for the defense, no, not the goalies, not yet. The defense. Best defenseman was once again Eric Carlson. Every single year is always the best player, best defenseman, boys, with the most points at least. Good lord. All right, he's consistent. 75 points per season. You know what to get. You know what you're going to get with him, that's for sure. The other Carlson is always in there too. Uh, you see Quinn, uh, Quinn Hughes, uh, Pretriangelo, Gardespeer, Igman Larson, Makar, and Bogfist in there. Adam Bogfist doing his thing uh finally moving up and i think did have a really good year for us right we got it from free agency and they had a pretty decent more than a pretty decent year he had a really good year for us so that's awesome and for the goalies uh definitely i feel like it's gonna play between uh jerry and redditch for the Vizina trophy it might go to jerry just because he played a little bit last games uh, it's kind of the same, right? Ra win to uh, game ratio. It's kind of the same thing, except uh, Jerry's got a much higher save percentage, and Riddich did really did struggle this year, save percentage uh, wise. But he did got the wins. Uh, he got the wins. So I don't know, boys. Uh, we got Gibson as well in the 40s. So, all right. And uh, last but not least, the rookie skaters of the years uh, uh, is Isaiah. Uh, Schwartz, what a name. All right, that's a strange name, but 79 points in 82 games played. That's his first year, boys. Uh, medium elite, 86 overall. I think that's a very first overall. Yeah, that was the first overall from last year. So that's a. Yeah, he, he's playing. He's going to be a stud. Anyways, boys, we're, I'm going to leave it right here. We're not going to start the playoffs for this uh, video. We're going to start it off for the next one. Uh, I feel like the, la the la next one is going to be the last one of this series. So no matter if we win or not the cup. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.